Hello everyone, Kelvin here, and today's going to be a fairly quick video. Um, I'm, I'm just going to be configuring something called IP multinetting, which is on the which can be done on the Viata V Rua. Now, multinetting is basically where you can assign more than one IP address to an interface. Now, it's not really good practice. Um, because of things like the broadcast domains however it can be used for situations where migration or upgrading takes place um, to support older, older devices um, there is some limitations with doing this you know as I said it's not good for uh, the broadcast domains um, and I believe the pings fail as well um, but I'm not too sure so we're going to configure this and um, we'll do some short commands and um, test pings etc so at the minute I've got the Windows 7 clone that's turned off um, because we're not going to be using that what we're going to be doing is from the V router it's going to uh, we've got an interface connected to the Windows 7 client which is turned on now I've put two IP addresses up here what we're going to do first is we're going to assign the PC the 192.168.1.2 forward slash 24 address and we are going to assign two IP addresses to this interface which is going to be the default gateway and what we're going to do first is we're going to try ping um, the gateway of 192.168.1 uh, network so we're going to that will be 1.1 then we'll change the IP address on the computer to 2.2 .2 and again we'll try ping and see if it goes straight through um, there as I say it's going to be a fairly quick video I'm just uh, going through some of the configurations for the V router which are required before I do my exam next week for this certification if you do want to know more, do get in touch. So we're going to start off with the V router, and we'll just log in. There we go. So what we're going to do is we'll just verify that interface. We'll get rid of Ethernet zero. Going to configure mode, then it's interface Ethernet. No, sorry, set interface Ethernet Ethernet zero address 192.168.1.1 is the first one we're going to assign, and we'll do another one and we'll do that as 2.1 on the same interface, and we'll commit that. Oops, spell it wrong. There we go. So that's committed now. So as um, set those, so we'll just do a show um, in the first Ethernet Ethernet zero. So let's have a look. So as you can see, we have two IP addresses. We have the one nine two one six eight. 1.1 and we have the 192.168.2.1 set okay so what we're going to do first is we'll set the IP address now on the Windows 7 computer to 1.2 and we'll see if it can ping then we'll also do it for 2.2 we'll just set this up not sure if the IP address will be the same from a previous lab I did, but we'll have a look. Now we've got DHCP, so we'll change that to static now. So it's 192.168.1.2. Class C subnet, um, then it's 192.168.1.1 is the gateway. 
we'll change that now and it should take effect there we go we're on so we'll go to the command line we'll do a ping 192.168.1.1 and that's successful so what we'll do now minimize that and we'll change the IP address now to 192.168.2.2 2 .2. 2 .1's the gateway we'll set that give it a second and it seems to have picked it up so we'll try ping that now 2.1 and there we go, we're getting replies as well now. So that's pretty much the multi netting, IP multi netting on the Viata V router. And we've seen that we've been able to set both IP addresses um, to the V router, and we've also tested connectivity by changing the IP addresses. So that's pretty much it now for this video. If you do have any more questions, do um, drop us a comment and I will get back to you. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.